Hello once again, Monster Hobbies Model Car Mechanics. Hey, are you ready for a really cool experiment? Well, today I'm going to try something that I've been thinking about off and on for a while, but I've actually got some mathematical formulas for this, so let's see if this works. Here is the experiment. So I have this little 1940 Ford in 132nd scale, and over here I've got a AMT 1 24th scale 1949 Ford. Now, as you can see, they are two different scales if I have them side by side. Let's see, front headlight to front headlight, you know, top and bottom. And the experiment is with a little help from Chat GTP, and I got the printout here. This is an experiment in order to get these two model cars in a photograph to look like they're the same scale. So that is going to be pretty interesting to try out. So without further ado, let's do this experiment and see how it goes. So first things first, this Lindbergh Ford is looking really dusty. I mean, you can see like a sweater on the hood and the headlights. So with our uh, canned spray air, just see if I can get the dust off. Okay, some of it's coming off, nope. but I think I will have to uh, get this with a paintbrush and knock the dust off as I spray the air. And here's our little Ford all cleaned up. Now I did brush the dust off it, and then I washed it, and I used one of the little rags for my glasses, the microfiber, and I just wiped it down, and then I added in some car wax. So this thing is really nice and shiny. I mean, let's just rotate it a bit. Look at the sheen on that hood. <laughs> and this is just a brush paint job I did when I was like eight years old or whatever. Maybe 11. So I didn't even paint in the taillights back in the day. But just with that wax, look at that shine. <laughs> Looks better than it ever has. Okay, so enough waxing the model. Let's go and take the pictures of the two and see if I can beat that challenge and get them in the right scale. I think ChatGTP might have messed up on the placement of what it's saying here, but it says to determine how far away a 125th scale model car needs to be to appear the same size as a 132nd scale model car, you can use these scale ratios. The scale ratio between 132 and 125th is 25 over 32, which equals point, or 0 0.78125. This means that the 125th scale model will need to be about 21.875% closer than the 132nd scale model to appear the same size. That doesn't make sense. Wouldn't it be the other way around? If you're photographing the 132nd scale model at a distance d, then the 125th scale model would need to be at a distance of D times 0 0.78125. For example, if you take the picture of the 132nd scale model from 2 feet away, the 125th scale model would need to be 2 feet times 0 0.78125, which equals 1.56 feet, which is 18.72 inches, which is 18 roughly 3 quarters. This should allow both models to appear similar in size in the photograph. Okay, this is what it's telling me to lay it out as. And uh, again, I'm not too sure if this is right. Well, actually, yeah, okay. It, one 32nd scale model from two feet away, the 25th scale model. So it's actually saying the 25th scale models should be here at 18 and 3 quarter. The 32nd scale models should be here at 2 feet. But that doesn't make any sense because this is the bigger model and this is a smaller model. So I think it should be this way. Correct me if I'm wrong. But would they look sort of in the same scale like that? Okay, I'm going to lower this camera down to tabletop height level and measure this whole thing out and then uh, take a picture of it and we'll see what it looks like, you know, from the ground level. Okay, here we are at ground level with the camera being exactly two feet away from the 125th scale model kit and the 132nd one being 18 and three quarter inches closer. Well, not closer, but at that mark. 
So do they look the same size? Well, I know it's hard to tell because I got these two big windows shooting all the light in and it's kind of shadowed. I wanted to do this outside, but it's starting to rain and as Pete would say, there's some bloke out there sanding down a tabletop. So all you'd hear is and so <laughs> we're inside today. Okay, let me zoom the camera lens up. Okay, that is better. Kind of better. Okay, how about that? What's that looking like? Do they look like they're the same scale, more or less? You know, what would make this easier is to replace this with a similar sized one of those. So let's see what I can find. So here I have this Lindbergh 132nd scale 1949 Ford. And you can see that the windows are different on this thing. So it's not another AMT kit. And this one I converted into a slot car. So it's got the rudder up front. So it would sit a little bit higher. But let's just swap places. And then, yeah, see the 32nd scale car looks lower than the 25th scale car. So maybe bring this up more. Okay, hold on. Till that fender looks like it's going to get... Well, I hate to tell uh, ChatGTP this, but... <laughs> But it's wrong. <laughs> okay, it's like the 32nd scale car is at 4 inches. And the 25th scale one is sitting there at the 2 feet away from the camera. And with the roof line, actually, right there, 3 inches. 3 inches away from the camera for this one. That's why all my focus is gone now. But you can see the 25th scale car, now they're at the same roof height. So, uh, yeah, the um, chat GTP has got it wrong. And that's zoomed in. That's zoomed in onto the 25th scale car, too. So, yeah, this is uh, really quite wrong. So, wait, what if I zoom out? Actually, let's get ahead a little bit. Yeah. How about there? Okay, yeah, see, now they, they do look like they're the same size, except for one is so far away from the other, so maybe a front head-on image is not quite right for this. I don't know, maybe a side view? Well, let's see. Okay, now they do look like they're the same scale again, don't they? So, but yeah, that's quite a distance away. That is... That is very far. <laughs> so we're sitting at three inches here. And that's... Oh, wait. It should be two feet. Okay, yeah. So there's there's two feet. And we're down three inches. So that is... 17 inches difference in between here to there. So this did not quite work well for ChatGTP because again you can see how far away this is from one another. Whereas I was hoping that you would just move this to a spot. You know with the bigger one in the back. And then you wouldn't see the difference of that, you know. But I'm not too sure because, again, they're saying, okay, try it the other way. Something like this, and they should look like they're the same scale. But the further you move back the smaller one, of course, it's going to end up reducing its overall size. So I don't know. <laughs> it's interesting stuff, isn't it? Forced perspective. This almost looks... Well, no, this looks like it's still smaller. I don't know. Is that one foot away? 
or not. I don't know. It's really quite interesting, isn't it? Well, I think I'm going to end this video here. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. Did Is this right or is it wrong or what's going on here? Put this one there. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this. Did the experiment work? Did it not work? You be the judge. I kind of think it works, but not really the way that uh, the chat GTP is saying that it should work. I think you just, if you wanted to try to get a picture like this with the big car in the back being the same, more or less size as the smaller cars, you're just going to have to go by eye. <laughs> but basically, glad you could join me for this experiment. Check out my other videos on this channel. And until next time, everyone, happy model building and may the force be with you.